The Keller antigen system is a group of antigens on the human red blood cell surface which are important determinants of blood type and are targets for autoimmune or alloimmune diseases which destroy red blood cells. KEL can be noted as K, K, or KP. The KEL antigens are peptides found within the KEL protein, a 93 kilodalton transmembrane zinc-dependent endopeptidase which is responsible for cleaving endothelin-3. Protein. The KEL gene encodes a type 2 transmembrane glycoprotein that is the highly polymorphic KEL blood group antigen. The KEL glycoprotein links via a single disulfide bond to the XK membrane protein that carries the KX antigen. The encoded protein contains sequence and structural similarity to members of the neprilesin family of zinc endopeptides. There are several alleles of the gene which creates KEL protein. Two such alleles, K1 and K2, are the most common. The KEL protein is tightly bound to a second protein, XK, by a disulfide bond. Absence of the XK protein leads to marked reduction of the KEL antigens on the red blood cell surface. Absence of the KEL protein, however, does not affect the XK protein. The KEL protein has also recently been designated CD238, Disease Association. KEL antigens are important in transfusion medicine, autoimmune hemolytic anemia and hemolytic disease of the newborn. Anti-K is the next most common immune red cell antibody after those in the ABO and RH system. Anti-K typically presents as a class ALO antibody. Individuals lacking a specific KEL antigen may develop antibodies against KEL antigens when transfused with blood containing that antigen. This is particularly true for the K antigen which shows a relatively high antigenicity and moderately low frequency in Caucasian populations. Anti-K can also occur following transplacental hemorrhage association associated with childbirth making KEL an important concern for hemolytic disease of the newborn. Following the formation of anti-K, subsequent blood transfusions may be marked by destruction of the new cells by these antibodies, a process known as hemolysis. Anti-K does not bind complement, therefore hemolysis is extravascular. Individuals without K antigens who have formed an antibody to a K antigen, must be transfused with blood from donors who are also K0 to prevent hemolysis. Autoimmune hemolytic anemia occurs when the body produces an antibody against a blood group antigen on its own red blood cells. The antibodies lead to destruction of the red blood cells with resulting anemia. Similarly, a pregnant woman may develop antibodies against fetal red blood cells, resulting in destruction, anemia, and hydrops fatalis in a process known as hemolytic disease of the newborn. Both AIHA and HDN may be severe when caused by anti kel antibodies, as they are the most immunogenic antigens after those of the ABO and rhesus blood group systems. McLeod Phenotype McLeod phenotype is an X-linked anomaly of the KEL blood group system in which KEL antigens are poorly detected by laboratory tests. The McLeod gene encodes the XK protein, a protein with structural characteristics of a membrane transport protein but an unknown function. The XK appears to be required for proper synthesis of presentation of the KEL antigens on the red blood cell surface. History the KEL group was named after the first patient described with antibodies to K1, a pregnant woman named Mrs. Gullica in 1945. Mrs. Celano was likewise a pregnant woman with the first described antibodies to K2. The K0 phenotype was first described in 1957 and the McLeod phenotype was found in Hugh McLeod.
a Harvard Dental student in 1961. In 2010, researchers speculated that King Henry VIII of England he had Kel positive blood type, explaining the deaths of seven of his ten children at or soon after birth, and suggesting that his mental deterioration around age 40 could be explained by McLeod syndrome. This was supported by the revelation that Henry may have inherited Kel from his maternal great-grandmother, Jacquetta of Luxembourg. Other associations. Evidence supports a genetic link between the Kel blood group and the ability to taste phenylthiocarbamide, or PTC, a bitter tasting thiourea compound. Bitter taste receptor proteins in the taste buds of the tongue that recognize PTC are encoded on nearby chromosome locus 7q35 6.